So I already have a teaching on Halloween online. You can just look it up online and you'll find my teaching on Halloween. But I'll do a second video on it. Now this is something that's really bad concerning about Halloween. You'll notice right here that this is something that is satanic, which we all know, concerning everyone dressed up like monsters, and that Satanists consider this as Satan's birthday, and etc. But you got to realize this, is that what's so wicked about this is that this term right here, hollow, yeah. it's supposed to be something godly. Yeah. But now it became a satanic thing. Whenever you think about hollow something, it's going to be satanic. Like another example is Harry Potter and the Deathly Hollows, I think. So you'll notice right here that whenever you think hollow something, you're going to think of satanic, Harry Potter. Uh, you're going to think about Satan's birthday. You're going to think about what? Not God, but demons, monsters. That is Satan's success. By the way, you know what happened at that day on October 31st? That was near the time when Martin Luther posted up his 95 to 99 arguments about salvation by faith alone, not by works. How about that? But all of that has now been attributed to Satan. All right, let's look at Matthew chapter 6 first. Keep your hand at Exodus 12. We're going to go back here. But go to Matthew chapter 6 verse. And then look at verse 9. Notice what the Bible considers concerning about hollow. Matthew chapter 6, verse 9. It should associate with God. Notice right here. After this manner, therefore pray ye, our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Hallow should be God's name. It should be attributed to God's name. But now this word Halloween is attributed to Satan, which he always wanted. My birthday, my day, the monsters. It's not even Satan's birthday. No, he was created by God, Lucifer. But see, Satan wants to steal from God, and that's what he's always done. That's what he's always done. All right, look at Exodus chapter 12. Exodus chapter 12. Didn't you know that Halloween, when kids go door to door, trick or treat? You know what that means? Trick or treat? What that represented was this, is that the Satanists or the Druids, the worship service during that time was dreadful. On Halloween, October 31st, I think it's also called Samhain or something like that. But anyway, these people, what they would do is go door to door and they will either leave a treat or they'll leave a trick. So the treat is uh, where you have these jack-o'-lanterns. That's why there are pumpkins that being sell by markets. Where did that come from? Of these druids, of these Satan worshipers, these people, what they would do is that if the person blessed them with the sacrifice on that day, then what they would do is leave a jack-o'-lantern over there that would protect them, that would shield them. But then if these people did not provide them a human sacrifice, then these people, what they would do is post blood on their door and they would put, I believe, they would put a satanic symbol. I believe it's a pentagram. And what they would do is that they would put the satanic symbol in blood on their door. And then they would die. Some death angel or deadly demon would come in to die and kill them. That's the opposite of what God intended. God, when he put the blood on the door, it was protection against the grim reaper, against the death angel. You see how Satan always likes to twist things. Look at Exodus chapter 12, verse uh, 12. For I will pass through the land of Egypt this night and smite all the firstborn in the land of Egypt, both man and beast, and against all the gods of Egypt. Will I, exec I will execute judgment. I am the Lord, and the blood shall be to you for a token upon the houses where ye are. And when I see the blood, I will pass over you and the plague shall not be upon you to destroy you. See, God did that long ago at the BCs and Satan hated it because that blood on the doorpost was what? To smite those devils at verse 12, the gods of Egypt. 
Satan wants to blaspheme God, twist it over that, okay, you know what? Find it. I'll put the blood on the doorpost with my symbol on it, not your symbol, God, my symbol on it, and I'm going to kill every one of them. How about that? That's evil. It's evil. And that was the trick. That was the trick. Hence, trick or treat. So when kids go door to door, trick or treat, they want the treat. And what? It's the candies. But the Satan, the Satanists, the, the Satan worshipers, their candy, human sacrifice. Mm -hmm. And notice that this blood on the doorpost was done at night. Mm -hmm. What goes on at Halloween? At night. At night. Door to door. Door to door. Yeah. You know who's the first person that did the so-called trick or treat? It was God Almighty going door to door, checking out the blood on the doorpost. And if they applied the blood, then he treated them and blessed them with promise. As a matter of fact, what's very interesting is that even the Egyptians joined the children of Israel because they knew that God's blessing, his treat was on them. That's why the Bible says there was a mixed multitude. But if they rejected it, then God, what he's going to do is that he slaughtered them. That was the destruction. That was the judgment. That was the so-called trick, so to speak. So you'll notice right here that God was the first person that did that. And hallowed be thy name. But Satan, he wants to take something holy and attribute it to something evil. These two words should never be together, church. It should be the opposite. So you know what you can do tonight? Why don't you tackle the devil's system after he tried to mess with God? Why don't you mess up Satan's day too by doing that trick or treating when these kids knock on your door? And then instead of giving them candy, why don't you give them chick tracks in different colors and then give it to kids. And then these kids, trust me, they'll grab them. And then if you put candy around it as well, they'll definitely take both of them. Give it to them and let them receive the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Jack Chick, responsible for Chick Tracks, mentioned the number one holiday that you pass out the most Chick Tracks. You know what they are? You know what day that is? Halloween. You know why? Because it's that age of innocence, children, where Jesus said, if, except you be converted like children, then you can enter heaven. Children are the most innocent, the most easy to win to Jesus Christ. That's why they receive the most. But Satan, he loves innocence. So he takes the children. Isn't it sad? He takes the innocent children and puts them on his evil side here. When God did that quote-unquote trick or treat, I only say that lightly because God's not a trickster, obviously. Yeah. But I just say that lightly so you can understand the mentality how Satan used it later on. But you, so let's call it blessing or destruction. Whereas right here, this was trick or treat, right? But you know what I'm saying, so just uh, put up with me here. But you got to realize this, the first time God did that day of quote-unquote trick or treat or blessing or cursing, you notice that the blood on the doorpost was applied for what? Children. Ah, firstborn. It was because of the children. And Satan wanted to take that back for his day, for his hollow evil night. Nope. Hollow should be something holy to God. Amen. 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 All right, so do something tomorrow. Onliners, do something tomorrow. Give out the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. Chick Tracks, trust me, that's, a tr that's like a treat for children. They're going to receive it.